Hello, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I'm Mark Lear. This is part four of my quest to become a billionaire on the user created map Umbrian Valley. So, in the previous parts, I deforested this area. That's my farmhouse over there. I built this yard, um, laid down some storage, as you can see, a vehicle workshop to repair my vehicles. Uh, pressure washer to wash and all of these solar panels so I've created a solar farm these were £150,000 each and all of these generate about up to eighty, ninety thousand 90000 a month so a decent investment over time I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the rest of my yard but my focus for now is to take all this machinery that I bought and take up to a new parcel of land that I'm going to start developing and creating a wind farm which will be my new venture. Now the wind farm is quite expensive uh, investment. It's about 750,000 for the biggest windmills but they do bring in a lot more money. But the first task is to get up there and with no problems. I should have checked that all of my vehicles are actually strapped down. Better stop in this yard get out and have a look. Yep, the straps are down. Everything's still on. Let's get going. Luckily most of the journey up there is these tarmac roads which is a lot better than using the dirt tracks which are really bumpy. I'm glad I'm not taking it uphill because I think it would really struggle to go uphill. Yeah, so here we are here I believe it's just up this corner. Yeah so I think I, think I can build from here. And I'm going to have to get all this equipment off the road because I don't want to be blocking the road. Right, so the ridge line is going to be... Oh, those deer just spawned in. I swear to God, these deer, man. They're running through fences. They're just appearing out of nowhere. Some freaky shit going on in this place. Yeah, so I'm going to have to bring the road up sort of around the back here. Right, well, I'll get this off the road. I don't know if there's an option to set these mirrors on because I don't like how they don't actually reflect anything. It's kind of annoying. You know, I've played quite a lot of Euro Truck Sim. you think I'd know how to reverse a lorry by now. So they should be fine there for now. I think the first thing I should do is just lay the road and then uh, cut down any trees that may be in the way. Okay, so I was trying to cut as much of a path through the trees as possible, but I've miserably failed that. As long as there's a big enough turning circle to get the, the lorry up here. Now I kind of have a basic idea of my road. I can now flatten the land and deforest the areas that need to be deforested and expand my road if need be. Yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of trees to be removed. Let's jump in these uh, vehicles and get unloaded. So this needs to go down first. Undo the straps. Right, the tractor first. There we are. Perfect. Now this is my first time ever using one of these proper machines, so I'm quite looking forward to it. I don't know what length my um, log trailer is actually. 12 meters will be. I want them as big as possible, make it easier to transport the logs. Right, so my first tree. Oh, this is good. So it has an automatic line. This is going to be so much easier. Look at that. Just grab it. Lift it up, move it along. There we go, 12 meter logs. Yeah, I think that is the size of the trailer, so. Wow, so much easier. In fact, I can just swing it back around and fire it in the same pile so easily. So I'd like to get as much of these trees in sort of the same pile as possible because it just makes loading the lorry so much easier. I might have to cut that tree down next to it though, because it's maybe going to cause problems. Yeah, this thing can drag trees just so easily as well, compared to the JCB. It was really slow and kind of sluggish. It was, it was kind of struggling to move trees a bit like this. I shouldn't really be surprised. This thing was literally designed just for this job. So those stumps are starting to become annoying. Which means I'll probably have to bring the tractor in. 
So I think my plan is that once I clear all the trees, finish this pathway, I'll even the road out. I'll make it a bit smoother as well. Um, then I will probably fence it. Um, it's, I suppose it's not really necessary to fence it, but I think it'll look nicer. It's also more professional. And then place the windmills. I mean, realistically, I could probably just leave these logs to the side. I mean, they're not bothering anybody. But I may as well take them uh, to the, the closest sell point and make some money off them. Every little helps at this point. Kind of like getting a haircut. Looks like it would feel good. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Trees just attacked me. Trees are fighting back. I can't believe I hand cut all those other trees. What a mug. Uh, it seemed to be a glitch as well when I was laying this path and now I've got random patches of gravel in this forest but I'll go back and stick some plants over that. <clears throat> I got a lot of wood from this as well so I imagine I get a lot of money. Right, so that's me almost at the centre of this ridge line. Um, I'm just going to park this up here. Yes, I'm just going to de-stump the area with my tractor. Yeah, you can see the um, the repair state of my tractor on the bottom right there. I don't know why it's so low. This was a brand new tractor, I think. So this process has been a lot quicker than I had actually expected it to be. I'm um, just trying to be smart with where I place things. Because I don't really want to spend all my time just chopping trees down. Yeah, I'm making a little bit of money per hour as well from my gas bottles. I shall go collect the log trailer. I do quite like this truck. You know, this map actually it looks a lot bigger, but it's, it's actually quite compact. It's a nice balance, I would say. So there's my trailer. Been sitting there for months. You know, getting used. Oh, I can turn my head like an owl. I don't really know what the best piece of equipment is to pick up. The, the, the loose logs because obviously the last time I did it I had that fixed back truck and that came with a crane attached. This one doesn't have that but I am going to be able to transport I would imagine pretty much all of the logs in one go. I am going to have to save up quite a bit of money before I start laying windmills anyway because like I said the um, the biggest one is was it 750 grand? Let's park up here. So what I think I'm going to do I've always wanted to use this so I think I'm just going to rent this it is about 20 grand, but <clears throat> when you're making about 80 grand a day, who really cares? And here we are. That is cool. This will definitely do the job. I hope. It's not the easiest uh, thing to see out of driving first person. It is only 38 mile an hour top speed, but I actually didn't realise just how massive this thing is. This might be overkill. I may have just squandered 20 grand. I'd also like to point out, I didn't realise Volvo made so much equipment. Like, I, I know they made good cars, and you still see those like, old square Volvos on the road. I just seem to keep going. I don't know if they've got like a nuclear reactor in those things or what, but they're hardy, hardy cars. They clearly make some pretty good heavy machinery as well. Let's see if we can pick up pretty much. Oh my god, that is a big, big bump. I'm going to see if I can transport pretty much all of these in one go. That would be so good. Grab all of these. Oh wow, look at that. And they've got a little extra claws to secure them in position. Lift these up. Is that going to hold them all properly? Hmm. I don't know if they're going to go on. This is going to be very tricky. This is a lot trickier than I had expected actually because Maneuvering around these trees is going to be a nightmare. Luckily, it does have that sort of, I, I don't know what you call it, articulated bit. So, 12 meters looks like the right size for this. I think they're all pretty much on track to fall in if I open this. There we go. I think I'm going to jump out and just uh, cut off the end of one of these. Not quite the 12 meters now. Yeah, so I think it, it's probably best not to move the lorry this close. Alright, let's try this again. Scoop up. Put the little extender bits out. There we are. Oh, right, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up to these next set of logs, grab them, and then move back for the lorry. And I'll move the lorry in position. Going down, right, so I move back. Jump in the lorry, that should be in line. And these aren't as straight as I'd like, but as long as they land in the trailer, it's not great. Secure them down. I never really thought about turning, but I'll just try turning here. Now I know from exploring the map before that there's a cell point nearby, um, the one that was in the water. So I'm just going to head there and see if I can dump them in the water. I hope it works better than that other cell point I was using, because that other cell point was just a nightmare. On the road again. I don't think it was too far up this road. Oh, wow, the handling on this is a little bit, a little bit off. I think some of those logs were moving. Yeah, I'm getting interference on the... Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take the straps off for a second. Let them settle down. Reapply them. Okay, so this cell point was actually further away than I remember. I thought it was before the village, but apparently it's not. Wow, this road was definitely not designed for HGVs. Right, so now I just need to back my truck down into the water. I need to be careful that I hit the concrete bit and don't lose my trailer. Is this a cell point? There we go. Uh, 28,000 for that. And it took all the wood in one go, which is nice. And I know that, well, I'm assuming that's a thing that's done in real life. I don't know, I watched that Netflix show Big Timber and the guy was out, out in the water. He was um searching for old logs that you could use and make a bit extra money off of. I didn't expect to make that much money, to be honest. But if I can make a few hundred grand off of this uh, forest, happy days. Still got quite a few loads to go. So something I find odd about this game is the um, steering can come across. I mean, the steering feels fine, but it looks really twitchy on the screen. Whoa, whoa. Shit. Oh, wow. And this is not good. Yeah. I don't know what that was all about. Right, so I'm going to do the same as last time. I'm going to grab the logs back up and then put them on the trailer. Oh, I've just messed this up. I'm just going to divvy these up and then just lift them. Probably just the easiest way. 171 kilos. That might be a new record. A new weightlifting record in the game. Try not to mess this one up. If I can get all of these in one, that would be great. How did I manage that? I'm somehow picking myself up. Uh <laughs> Yeah, so this was a little bit trickier than I had uh, initially anticipated. Okay, so this is really not pretty. Um, I mean, they are technically on. I wonder if I can pat them down. Yeah, that didn't really go how I'd, I'd like to have done it went. Oh my god, I almost lost a bit of uh, log there. <laughs> They're just hanging out the back. So it's two o'clock, it's half two. Oh my god, oh my god. And there's a lesson, kids. And always pay attention to the road. Yeah, this is. I need to take it easy on these back roads because the truck just jackknifes and it goes flying off if there's a slightest bump. And then you've got this bad corner here, which it does not like. But here we are. We made it. Almost nailed it. Almost. So sixteen thousand. It's just about twelve thousand less than the last load. And transporting the logs takes about fifteen to twenty minutes in game time. I do wonder why they didn't put a proper road down here. Like why does it just stop? I mean, clearly, the lumber mill place is going to be used quite a lot when you live in the middle of a forest. I need to be really careful on that part of the road again. Almost did the same thing I did last time. Okay, so I made the same mistake with that, with the overhang, so I'll just chop a bit off the top again. I'm lazy like that. It should drop in, there we are. Uh, this bit can just be tossed away. It's like, what, 20 peas worth of wood? It does turn extremely slowly, this thing. I'm not even sure it's really sped things up. I mean, grab malt, like a big load of trees, like these ones here that I'm about to grab. If I can grab all of them at once, it definitely speeds up the process. But I think just because I'm so terrible at using these machines, I, I can't do that very well. I'm going to a shot though. Here we go. This, I'm looking good on this one. I got yous. I got every single one of yous. Secure it. And we're looking good. And it's straight. Even better. I can probably get right underneath that. Yep, there we go. There we are. That's about as perfect as it gets. A little bit of overhang at the back, but there's no police around enforcing that. And uh, I don't even know if that's a law, so. Wow, they all. Oh, no, 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 no. It's that one stubborn one. 
this is the problem with this machine is it's actually whilst it's good for that kind of stuff it is not good for the fiddly stuff so I wonder if I just lift it up at the side put it forward a little bit I think that'll be fine okay there we go so I think this is the last load of logs up here I'll turn the lorry I think I can probably turn the vehicle here I should be able to get the lorry around like this Right, I'll go deliver these logs. Oh my god. <laughs> I definitely need to fix that bump. So I'm thinking probably about 20 odd grand for this load again. Pretty much every log on this, this uh, lorry right now is, is fairly sizable. Imagine being a SGV driver in real life and you come across a road like this. I didn't get paid enough, mate. Cheers. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Um, this is a problem. I'm going to try a rescue operation. This is probably not going to work because it's probably too light. But I do have a winch on this. And it's the fastest thing I've got. I said the last time, slow down, take it easy. I should take my last advice. What my means doing 160 kilometers an hour. Oh wow, whoa, whoa! Yeah, I need to, need to be careful. Imagine if the recovery vehicle ends up needing to get recovered. Lost it again. Okay, so I should be coming up on my tipped lorry. I don't even know if this winch attaches to the lorry. Okay, so it looks like I can only attach the winch to the logs. However, that may be enough. Okay, that works. I need something to block it. Okay, I've got a plan. I can't cut that tree. Okay, nothing. So I don't have a plan. I'm trying to assess the situation. I, I don't quite know what to do. Oh my god, how did I manage this? <laughs> I mean, this thing is just getting pushed around like a ragdoll. It's not even hard. So all I can really do is just ram this around a little bit. Well, like either that, I'm going to have to get a front loader. But to be honest, by the time I pay the rent, or to get a lot of stuff, it's going to cost me what I'm probably going to make of the trees anyway. If we winch on the top. Come on, come on. Yes. That's it. That's how it's done. So I was kind of panicking I was going to have to spend a bunch of money there. But luckily, the winch did the job. And I'm so glad I added that winch to the truck now because it's just saved me about 20 grand. And I made 23 from that. Well, I'm glad that's the last truck run for a little while. It's turning 5 o'clock at night. So I think the best thing to do right now would be to get a trailer to the, the site. And I will use that trailer to sleep until the morning. I don't really know what side of the road I'm supposed to be on. Oh, uh, so I'm a left-hand drive, so it'll be this side, right side, which is the wrong side. So I think this little... Uh, area here will be fine for a little yard that I can work out of. I'm going to build myself a temporary place to live. Yeah, this one will do. That's a nice little trailer. And I'll get my truck back there as well. See if I can get some air. Oh hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was impressive. I'm pretty sure my guy's probably vomiting all over the steering wheel right now, but that was pretty cool. So this is like my little work yard. I think it's right on the edge of my property. And you, you can see on the map here, this is where I'll be building the windmills. So I think this is supposed to be like the road I've built, but it doesn't really come up very well. So if I walk over here, I'll expand my yard out a little bit here. But there, yeah, we'll just have paths going up to this ridge and the plan is just to place windmills along this ridge because they are very big in fact i'll show you how big oh wow uh this is even more money than i thought they were the cheapest ones seven hundred sixty-eight thousand. the biggest one is 1.2 million you can't even see the top of it you can just see the top of that one but they'll be clipping trees so we want to go for the biggest ones make a hundred grand a month uh, i'm gonna have to save up a lot of money though Okay, so I think I might just leave it there for now and 
tackle the rest of the construction project in the next one. Right, cheers. See you later.